truck driving license truck driving school we're doing truck training and assessment at Engelberg. our phone number is 0413 now we're going to be doing coupling and uncoupling a speed trailer ring feeder that's our ring feeder and the driver is going to do that from a to z by himself with my assistant kind of if he miss anything he's a very smart guy and he knows what he's doing okay what we think we're going to be doing i need you to say what you're doing okay hazard lights are on to warn people around me what i am doing yeah. lowering the leg first yeah and checking my height then undoing my power off my chains then my couplings. Well, I prefer air brakes first. First. You know why? The leg down. Leg down, yes. Yes. And then, second is air brakes. Then air? Yeah. So that locks my brakes. Correct. Correct. until you get if it's too hard don't push hard yeah that's it that's plenty of time we plenty of room look we have a gap from the bottom so the trailer when the truck moving forward the trailer is not gonna hit not down gonna here grab. it's yes. not gonna grab down here or oh. oh, hit drive it to the beautiful ground. yeah right air yes please so air brakes we get to the dock where's my dock a little bit more. All right. Well, that's on here. Yeah. All right. Huh? Pull in. Pull to you. Pull. Yeah. Huh? And the second one will be over it. Yeah. Okay. Trailer is has locked the brakes. This is the most important thing. So, if yeah, anything can happen, it's not going to roll back. Beautiful. That's why we have the chain to roll. Okay. Power is off. Lift it up. Lift it up. Now, look how it's clear inside. Yep. That's where you can easily move forward. Change. Yeah. You don't have to lock it. We're gonna go back in there. No matter. I'll come around and undo that one. You just. I don't want to reach over. Yeah. Thank you. He's had a light is on. Spark it with a plumber. You need to have a living. Well, we don't have a living um, floor in here or down. So that's why we're working with the trailer to make it uh, to live in it. What about, can I ask you a question? Yes. What about if the road is not level and the trailer you can't lift it up with the leg more than that and you need it to have to lift up a little bit? What Lock you will use? Underneath what? if necessary or find a more level of ground. What about airbags? Drop your airbags. Yes, drop your airbags. Yes. Lift up so uh, you can level it up with the trailer with the airbags up and down. Yep. Right. Now we've undone our company, our trains, power, and air. Clear, clear, clear. All clear. All right. Now you need to move forward, uncouple, and we're going to do coupling. Same thing again. Okay, we're going to contact with the wind.
Ele. I cover everything straight. The ring feeder has to lock. If it's not locked, it means need grease, or you can push it with your hand to lock it. Now we need to do reverse the blades to do coupling. Inside, there's no grease, yes. there's no anything obstructing the coupling. See if they're basically yeah. level or yeah. just with my airbags? Ah, uh, well, it's uh, you can tell it's not. You need to drop the, drop the bags then. Yeah, it? let's just show you guys how to drop the airbag as well. Logged in. After it's logged in, he has to do tag test. Now, look what's happening. The trailer need to go up a little bit because the road was down here. Uh, I was uh, slipping down, so what we do? Lift up the truck a little bit. We need to lift up the truck a little bit because a bit more. One more. One more. in as you see the trailer is not the ring feeder is not locking in because it wasn't touching so lift up the truck again lift up the truck this is good to happen because it's done move out move out so this is good to happen while you're actually doing to learn beautiful so we need i'm gonna explain that so you need to get that the the bar it's touching the, the actually pin. So it didn't touch, that's why it been, the, the ring feeder didn't lock. So what's happened? The ring feeder didn't lock. Why? Because the bar and the truck was very straight line, so the actually bar did not touch the pin. Because that's it, it was very straight line. So it's usually to lock it, it needs to touch a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so let's adjust it again, adjust the height. Okay, lower the truck. Yeah, a bit more. Okay, come down, come back a little bit. Slower, yeah, come back. Beautiful. He has to do tuck test. Tuck test. Beautiful, that's it. Mutual and break and come down. So it's having now it's not but the point the problem here this arm has to be down straight and this has to go back fully back. So why did it happen? Because the ring feeder, the the, the king bean is touching inside here it's restruct, uh, it's stopping it to move to fall uh, to fall inside nicely and comfortable so what you get, usually when you wish here it goes back 
now it's not going back so what we will do we're gonna you see how it's not going back and there it's not going back so why because the king bean is touching here can you see that yes, yes. yeah now what we'll do like we did in the morning we're gonna do it one more time after you finish with all yep. the connections then give it a jerk give it a jerk jerk beautiful now i'm gonna connect You need to allow it to jump in the top of the bar there. that dot here with the flat part of of the connection look, look that's how it goes in and after it goes in you will need to twist it the full twist and come back where is the bendy bar so to lock it okay it doesn't fall out because it's actually standing on the two legs but if you're driving a semi uh, which is a uh, turning table yes will fall out kill someone so you always leave the legs last when your 100 percent is all done now he's gonna go check the brakes touch the brakes moving forward jerking the vehicle so we can get the ring feeder back in, in position So that's locked in here and that the safety lock and all is clear. Perfect lock, yeah, thank you. So that's why guys what we will do um, when we teach semi trailer. Um, uh, and that's the same technique as the truck and dog as well. Um, yeah, so call us for HR, LR, MR, HC, MC truck driving license. But the courses we do it in English Our phone number is 0413 over there 0313 you see here 011392 Thank you very much for watching If anybody watching I don't know I'm not very familiar with social media I just do what I can do This is our office And that's our second truck And the other bus is out And yeah have a good day